Welcome to our podcast, where we uncover the most important and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we'll discuss scientists' claims that a 1,000-year-old seed from a biblical tree may hold a potential cure for cancer. Scientists have claimed that a mysterious ancient seed, which dates back between 993 AD and 1202 and is believed to have grown into a 10-foot-tall tree nearly 1,000 years ago, may be hiding the cure for cancer. The scientists said that the seed was discovered in the Judean desert between the West Bank and Israel and was part of the lineage of trees mentioned in the Bible. The ancient seed, named Sheba, took 14 years to become a tree after it was found in a cave in the late 1980s. According to the scientists, this is the seed of a now extinct species of trees which once existed in the region. According to the scientists, the fully grown tree was the source of tsori, meaning balm, which is a resin with healing powers as per the Bible. Our initial hypothesis was that Sheba might be a candidate for the historical Judean balsam, said the scientists. Scientists have observed that Sheba contains various medicinal properties. In the chemical analysis of its leaves, it was found that it has active compounds with anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. The scientists also found antioxidant and skin-smoothing properties in its stems and leaves. We believe these findings support our second hypothesis, that Sheba may represent an extinct once native to this region, whose resin tsori mentioned in biblical texts was valuable associated with healing but not described as fragrant, scientists stated. The scientists carried out chemical and radiocarbon analyses of the tree and also checked its DNA. They found that it belonged to the family of myrrh and frankincense, which have been mentioned in the Bible. However, the scientists have not been able to find out the species of the Sheba plant. In the last 14 years, no flower or reproductive material has been produced by the tree which can be studied to understand its properties. If Judean balsam survives today as an extant Comifora species, there remains the possibility that scientists have not yet recognized it, researchers stated. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for listening. We have many more such compelling episodes for you. Enjoy them. Do share your opinion in the comment box and subscribe to us for more.